physiologically to what we're doing. So probably so most exactly people why, I mean, we're, our nervous system is so complicated. Human beings are so complicated. Medicine will never figure it out. Yeah. But do you find like with that one woman, someone has a presenting condition, but then you find that there's a bunch yes, of other things? Yes, there are other things just... that will come up that may, may have been masked. It's just like if someone is um, hitting you over the head with a hammer. The, the ache in your ankle that you've had for years maybe takes secondary priority. The nervous system prioritizes certain things, and once that's disappeared, then the next one is becomes more apparent. Get three, and that's it. And it develops just like all of our bodies all start with two cells that intersect, and then they divide, and then they differentiate. The meninges are all just part of that process. So, so it starts out, and then it just links up. And so there's old connections between certain parts of uh, one, one part of the body still has like friends down there in the toe that used to be right next to them, but you know, as they got bigger, they migrated away. But then she's not, is not going to change with as far as uh, obesity or anything like that. You, you may have, uh, I mean, there's all the chemical components and things, and there's more wear and tear on the body, and there may be postural issues that occur because of overweight, and that's going to stretch and affect the ninjas. But they aren't going to get bigger or smaller. Not that I know. I don't think I have. All right, so there are certain things that you know. Now we're going to skip over the Parkinson's stuff because no one here has Parkinson's. So if I